that's really interesting too because I was listening to a discussion this morning, and this isn't about like the movie. I'm just using this as an example. Like, so they they were interviewing um, the Harmon brothers, which are the brothers that produced yeah. the movie Sound of Freedom that just yeah, came yeah. out, and they they were talking about. It and think the thing that's interesting is like you hear about the movie, you hear about the movie. And you just hear about it and you can see somebody's political viewpoint just by how they react to the movie, whether they've seen it or haven't seen it or right. whatever is kind of irrelevant. It's just like you have to pick a team. It's strange. I literally my, my wife is wonderfully disconnected. And so she you know, she she doesn't pick up on any of these social posturing freak out things of the moment, you know, the flavor of the of the week. And uh, I she were also both music industry veterans. And I actually played her a reaction video to. Yeah, you know, try that in a small town. I, I play, and it was this, this this great reaction video by by by. Uh, I think I think they're called. Um, oh, I got to think of the YouTube channel, but they're basically like four thug guys, like four kind of like hip hop thug guys, and they're doing reaction videos, and 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 they they do it to to this song, and they're like, "Where's the controversy? Like what? You know?" And I and and, and, and I, I figured that would be the best way to make my point to my wife. I was like, "Because we both seen like." Jason Aldean has been making milk toast, run of the mill, like f just watered down whatever is called country music these yeah, days. It's, it's not but, like it's not even country music. If yeah, you listen yeah, to it, it's yeah, kind of like again, I'm not, something I'm not, else. I'm not slagging what he's doing. I'm just yeah. saying, like, 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 I'm a passionate music aficionado, and yeah. I've never given a shit what any of those people like like you know what i mean like like i don't get well, and i love country music too and i don't know if you like you look at what it is now and you're like what you put like a drum track and a couple banjos in there and a guitar and you call it yeah. country you're like what is no. this well you know, <laughs> you know you know where i live i live outside of nashville so right you know, and i used to like i used to work for john prime you know i used to work for for, for, for i mean i've worked directly for some amazing like traditional country, I like, I, I know what country is. I mean, and I've even, uh, I, you know, I mean, I will, you know, I've, I've, I've explored, you know, my, one, one of my dearest friends used to play drums for Hank three, which is one of, you know, if you haven't listened to any Hank three stuff, I mean, it doesn't get more raw and country than that. And, and, and I mean, like, like I understand country music, get, don't, don't, don't get me wrong, but like, but I, again, I, I look at like stuff like Jason Aldean and that's like, like, that's like fast food, country country music and, yeah. and again, it has its place and people you know i'm not dogging on people who eat fast food and i'm not dogging on people who listen to jason aldean but it, it's so run-of-the-mill milk toast stuff that it'd be, it would be like getting your panties in a wad over mcdonald's introducing a new you know uh, controversy over chicken mcnuggets or it's, it's like who like if if yeah. your if if your life is such that you are moved by <laughs> I had a Jason Aldean song uh, to get to the point where like you're taking like political and ideological stances on it's like my, you you might want to reevaluate how you're spending your time and and effort because that's yeah. it just seems really really um it's, I don't know it just seems like low hanging it's not even low hanging fruit it's like low hanging dead fruit. Well, I think the thing I struggle with though, John, like if you look at kind of. You look at like, let's just say the 20th century, for example, which I guess is kind of a downward spiral, right? Because like a lot of stuff happened in 1913 that wasn't so good. And then the next next hundred years is kind of a spiral. But you look at it and you could you could say that there's an established culture of what we look at, you know, like as, you know, um, you know, a country or whatever it may be. But I think the thing that's difficult is I can't really define what American culture is anymore. I also can't define how I can talk to my neighbor anymore. I feel like we're in a really weird position where we can't even talk about things. You know what I mean? Yeah, but why why do you need to feel uncomfortable about that? And that's kind of been my stance. Is, I don't is, feel like I do. I feel like it's that I want to be able to like communicate with people and have things that I feel like are productive and I feel like we're in a weird spot right now. Well, and and I think it's because there are too many of us that feel like we have to walk on eggshells around this around so many topics and and and, and it's like that gets back to that power of saying no. It's like no, no. I'm not I'm not going to, I don't want to walk around like looking for arguments or looking for confrontations all, all day because sure. that's not what I want to do. I mean, 